<laughs> yeah, that's right. I just laughed at a fart. Bite me. Howdy, everyone. War Sarsi here, and today we'll be doing a review for Siji, a fart from Elucina, for the Nintendo Switch. Siji is a 2D action platformer with a stage system similar to Super Mario Bros., where you have a hub world and progress to increasingly difficult stages on the map to save your sweetie pie who has been kidnapped by Hulk Hogan. <coughs> I mean, Ivan Stinkup. There are 20 stages in total, and each stage you will battle through enemies to reach the hot dog stand at the end, where you'll consume a hot dog, do a victory dance, and release some victory flatulence. As you progress further into the game, the enemies will get tougher, faster, and stronger, and they'll become more frequent. However, enemies aren't the only thing you're going to have to worry about. There will be obstacles such as spikes, rolling boulders, and even swinging blades. There are a variety of weapons you'll be able to acquire, ranging from swords, such as single swords, double swords, and trios of swords, to axes, and even chicken legs, which you can throw at your enemies. Your health bar is in the top left corner, and it, right beside that, it shows how many lives you have. If your lives reach zero, you'll get a game over and be returned to the title screen, but that doesn't mean that you won't be able to return where you left off and be reset to three lives. If you find a stage too difficult or have a tough time with a boss fight, you can farm lives from earlier stages, which I recommend doing a little of as bosses will be of challenge at first and you'll have to burn through lives learning their movements and attacks. Lives are earned by reaching 100 coins and by collecting all four Siji letters, S, I, G, and the other I. One thing I like is how the game itself even encourages building up lives with an in-game tip. Doing this helps make the game playable and enjoyable for all, regardless of whether or not you are skilled with games of this genre. In the end, it took me about an hour, with about 33 minutes of game time according to uh, the ending, to complete, but I only got a 22%, so if you're a completionist, there is plenty of reason to go back and collect all the letters and hidden treasures. I really enjoyed playing this game and was surprised with how much I enjoyed playing it, so I'd like to thank Sometimes You for sending me the review code and allowing me to enjoy this game and show it to all of you. If you'd like to experience this game yourself, it is available now on the eShop for only $5. This has been War Sarsi on the Gaming Clips channel. Thank you for watching.